The systems of displaying aeroplane, navigation and anti-collision lights, or any other lights designed to draw attention to the presence of an aeroplane, are covered in other lessons. But you may be asked questions on the subject in the ATPL Air Law exam. To this end, Air Law restricts itself to when you must have the lights fitted and when they must be on. From sunset to sunrise, as defined by the authority, aeroplanes are to be illuminated with anti-collision lights, intended to attract attention to the aeroplane. Additionally, navigation lights that define the relative path of the aeroplane are to be displayed. No other light can be shown if it is likely to be mistaken for these lights. If aeroplanes have anti-collision lights fitted, they should be on by day as well. Aeroplanes should not land specifically for the purpose of repairing broken anti-collision lights. From sunset to sunrise, all aeroplanes moving on the movement area shall display navigation lights that indicate the relative path of the aeroplane. All aeroplanes on the movement area shall display lights that define the extremities of their structure, unless stationary and otherwise adequately illuminated. Aeroplanes parked on an apron will be adequately illuminated because the apron is required to be lit at night. Away from an apron, aeroplanes must be lit. All aeroplanes on the movement area of an aerodrome are to display lights that attract the attention of other aeroplanes. Aeroplanes with engines running are to display lights to indicate the fact. Red anti-collision lights suffice for this purpose. In fact, it is usual to switch on the anti-collision lights when an aircraft is manned to indicate the fact and serve to warn that the engine may be started. A pilot is permitted to switch off or dim the intensity of any flashing light if they are likely, in his opinion, to adversely affect the satisfactory performance of his duty or subject an outside observer to harmful dazzle.